which is obtain an API key. All right, so let's click that. And so the, the easiest way to do it is just scroll down here and display the debug certificate fingerprint. And this is if you know you haven't signed your application yet. It's not in the Android App Store. Um, so you just copy this and you just paste that in here and press enter. That should show you your uh, uh, SH1 fingerprint. If it doesn't, you need to do this. If you're using Eclipse, you need to do Windows Preferences Android Build. Otherwise, you can come over here to your um, SDK Manager. And I know this is kind of a janky way of doing it, but if you go to your Preferences, and this is your path to your dot android um, th this is your cache uh, where your cache directory is but this will also show you where your dot android is which is what you need see you need your dot android slash debug dot key store so yeah that, that that's another way of finding it um, okay so since we got that uh, you need this sh1 key oops just go ahead and copy that and then it sh says you should see that which we did see now we go over here to this application console I mean API console and then it says to uh, uh, create a create an Android app key and create a new Android paste it put a semicolon go back to your application and open up your main activity S select your package name copy it and go back to this area and just paste the package just like it says right there and click create All right, and it created uh, this one, it looks like, yes. And then just be sure that your services for your Google Maps uh, Android API version 2 is on. All right. Um, make sure that that's on. So if you go to active, you should see this. All right. Um, because I've messed up where I didn't I, I didn't turn that on and it, I couldn't figure out what was wrong anyway so then you copy this and head back to your application and let's uh, let's open up the manifest and uh, where is it? And then that'll take us to the next tutorial.